Imagine for a moment that you are trying to escape from prison. If you attempt to escape in ordinary prison clothing, chances are high that you will be recognised and returned to your cell. However, if you were to disguise yourself in a guard's uniform, there is a much higher probability that you would be able to escape without being recognised. Similarly, many animals have acquired adaptations that allow them to mimic the appearance and behaviours of their predators. This phenomena, known as predator mimicry, increases an organism's ability to minimise their chances of being recognised as prey. Although many cases of predator mimicry have been observed in the wild, there is still very little scientific evidence demonstrating the efficiency of this method. Today I will be discussing the findings of Joan Carota and David Wagner regarding predator mimicry in Bredthia moths and Saltissa jumping spiders. Rota and Wagner observed that several species of the Branthia moth exhibit the same behaviour. During the day, the Branthia position themselves in such a way that their patterns on their wings resemble the legs of Saltissa spiders. Furthermore, it was found that these moths move with quick short motions, which are nearly identical to the movement patterns of Saltissa. From these observations, Rota and Wagner formed the hypothesis that Branthia moths are mimics of their Saltissa jumping spider predators. This hypothesis was tested in a series of trials during which a single sortisid was placed with the moth in an enclosed arena. The moths used in these trials were either a brenthia or a control moth, which did not exhibit wing patterns resembling sortisids or move with quick short motions. Also, as large sortisids have been found to perceive smaller spiders as prey, the sortisids used in these trials were of similar size to the brenthia and control moths. During this trial, Two reactions were observed from the sortisid. In the event that the moth was recognised as prey, the sortisid would stalk and pounce. However, if the moth was perceived by its predator to be another jumping spider, the sortisid would raise its front talons in a territorial display. As shown by the results, although none of the sortisids reacted to the control moths, 26 sortisids displayed territorial behaviour when placed in the arena with the Brenthia. As sortisids only display territorial behaviour when confronted by other jumping spiders, these results suggest that in a large number of cases, the Brenthia used in these trials were perceived as sortisid spiders. Also, during this trial, the Brenthia had a much higher survival rate than the controls, indicating that the Brenthia's adaptations gave it a distinct advantage over other sortisid prey. These findings support Rota and Wagner's hypothesis the Brenthia moths are mimics of their sortisid jumping spider predators and provide evidence indicating that predator mimicry is an efficient means of avoiding predation.